What's up everybody? It's uh, Ollie from Omni Club. Second series, second uh, set of videos that we're going to create. Before we kind of like walked into the video, I uh, walked into the tubs and like no sound and stuff, but you need way more context. So I'm going to go through it and this time I'm going to shoot it biggest to smallest. Usually we do things as like smallest to biggest and it's kind of saving me a bit. So I wanted to flip it up completely on its head. Plus I have got a fully sat deluxe extra sitting here as well, which we'll go through. So these videos that I want to make are just going to be talking about the specific type of that we're referring to. So this one, the deluxe extra, 1900 long by 900 wide, 600 feet is a beaut of a tub. I've uh, got two versions here, one just for tub and then one with a full system in it. So I want to kind of talk about both at the same time, especially when we're looking at like 1900 by 900 by 600. It's a big tub. So for a lot of people, this would be too big for their bathroom. And then other people who have got bigger spaces or want to put it outside. A lot of people do put these tubs outside to soak in, to use as a smooth area for kids and stuff like that. Uh, or uh, just to have as a whirlpool system as well. The tubs are suitable for outside, they're suitable for commercial use. We can work with you to create different solutions. We're probably going to put that sort of thing on a different site eventually. Uh, but for right now, we're just doing it on an inquiry basis. So if you did want to talk about anything outside, actually that kind of goes with any of our tubs, we can help you with that. Uh, but for this particular video, I just want to talk about the uh, 1900 by 900 by 600 the Deluxe Extra. So as with all of our tubs, they are handmade in Somerset. We are looking uh, 60D on the internal. Really important now. I think sometimes people think it's from top to bottom because that's how other baths measure themselves. This, from this point at the top to the point at the bottom is 600 deep. Um, we will go through this system in full in a moment, um, but I just want to kind of get that across when it is those sort of dimensions that we're working with. I'm in the second location. If you look back at the other videos, you would have seen me in manufacturing. That's location one, and this is location two where we do the content creation. This area is currently under development, not been in there long. So I'll end up doing these videos anyway, but I feel it's super important to get out. Um, this is big enough, or I think I'm over this side, this is big enough for two people easily, okay? You could fit more uh, inside this space, it's such a big space. Uh, we have the central waste location, and then we've got a default point central overflow position on the 75 mil side, because most people would have this wall, 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 or just wall and have three sides exposed, like for tiling or something like that. Our panels are suitable, they do work, but only on the half side or the full side. We haven't currently got created a three sided panel. Just at Jim, just say, Jim, what's good? Where are they? Where's the three side? We need the three sided panels because this on one wall, like that, that's, we need that then. At it, right? Um, you don't have to have an overflow, you don't have to go there. You could put the overflow on this side, on the 100 mil side, or the 75 mil side. Most people tend to put their heads here but it's completely um, up to you. It really doesn't matter, it's subjective. Some people like to have this on show, some people don't, because uh, this 100mm side has actually got the Omnitub uh, logo embossed over the top. Look, check that. I always get that confused, how is that embossed, debossed? I always get that confused, it's debossed. Doesn't matter, it looks sick, it does look sick. So, um, so the tub itself, super thick, much thicker than a standard bath, handmade, as I've said, 10 mm thick fiberglass, 5mm five, five mm GRP. That's what I like most. This is solid. It's not, it's not, it's not going to be flimsy. It's not going to be a problem drilling into it, putting the overflow in a different place, doing whatever you want to do with this space. It's, it's completely fine. Available in any colour. We've got the colours on the side, but also as well, if you had a colour match, if you had a specific colour that you were going for in the bathroom and you wanted us to match it, you can sample swatch it and then we can do a custom colour for you and make this whatever colour you want. So we're literally in a limited amount of possibilities on the colour side. That's really cool. Um, now, inside that space being 900, the only other tub we've got that's 900 wide is the Solo Extra, which is 1150 long. So this is completely different, nearly twice as long as the Solo Extra, so the Deluxe Extra. Um, the feet at the bottom of the tub and the side in height position of the tub can be anything from sort of well, 60 if it was flat down, if you went straight into the floor and it leveled off the floor, all the way up to sort of 750 with our standard configs. Um, you might want to create your own leveling system and then on the floor have 
boards going underneath to take the weight across multiple joists in the property to uh, share the load. Um, structural advice isn't something that we can give, it's a structural advisor, a structural engineer's job and stuff, it's not something we can give on a particular property case, but what a lot of people have done on our bigger tubs is they have put thick boards underneath the tub spread across lots of joists to spread the load, kind of basic stuff, but that's what people do. This holds a lot of water. The number, I don't even know. It's on the slide though, it's underneath the product page. If you scroll down on the product page, you'll see it. I can't remember all the water numbers off the top of my head. I just can't, it's not, it's not, it's not available up there. Um, so, plenty wide enough, plenty long enough. It's a two person tub any day of the week. With or without a system, kids are gonna love it. I would be able to fit in there very comfortably, me, my nine-year-old boy and my two-year-old boy, like, I have plenty of room left over. It'd be the best bathroom in the world to have, well. best tub, deep soaking tub, and handmade. So, this is the deluxe extra um, sphincter flanges. 75 mil this side, 75 mil this side, 75 mil this side, and 100 mil this side. You can deck taps on any of the sides. And I did get a good question recently. We watched the other videos. This lady watched the other videos. She said, you did mention the corners. Can you drill into the corners or what? So you can. I should have said that before in the other videos. You can, you can go through this easily if you want to. Uh, we can obviously site shower locations or tap locations for you post-purchase. Just do a drawing file. Just give us a shout. Reach out to me in one of the methods that we've got. WhatsApp's always the best. WhatsApp is always the best way to get hold of me. WhatsApp only on top of the site. That's better than anything else. If I don't reply, it's because I'm doing a video call with someone else or I'm doing a call with someone else, but I will get back to you. Live chats, you leave, forget about it, etc. WhatsApp's always best, okay? Um, so we can site anywhere on the tub. We can put shower, showers, handheld showers anywhere on the tub. Not a problem at all. Um, and it's a view. You need to have a good system in your property to keep to heat this because it's quite big. No bones about it. It's that this is a big tub. This is a big boy. Uh, it's going to need a, a lot of filling, so that's something you're going to need to consider. But if you've got that set, and if you're looking for a big, big tub, 1900 by 900 by 600 deep, this is lovely. You could have this sited all the way down to, if we say this is probably about 70 something, probably a bit higher, I mean, probably about 75, I would have said, up to my leg here, I'm six foot four. You could have it here if you wanted to, very easily because the, the, the feet and stuff can all go and you could have it slammed and then just leveled at the bottom. So you could have it much lower. You don't need to have to think of getting yourself into that space. It's not gonna be an issue. Um, 75, for me personally, it's not really an issue to get in and out of. So I would just walk up to this tub and I would just kind of do, do something like that. I don't mean the tub. I don't really see it as that much of a big thing. You can get into it however you want. There's a lot of space. Perfectly suitable to showering as well. It goes with any of our tubs. You can use these as a shower. I, I never really thought about it, why it would be a question to ask. But you can use these as a shower like any other bath. It's not a problem. So these are super, super, super suitable for that. Super sturdy when you stood in the tub. If we leveled it off well before we did this video, I hope so. So like, if I'm like, I'm like jumping up and down in it, it's solid. You're not gonna get those creaks, okay? Uh, I'm not quite sure exactly how we can level this off before doing this video, but it doesn't really matter. Um, for the purpose of it, you can stand around in there, there's plenty of space. If I had this here, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't need a shower screen, I wouldn't have thought. If my, if my shower screen up there, I probably wouldn't. It's quite wide, 900 wide is big. Um, if I get inside, so I'm six foot four, and if I'm straightened out like that, sat, I'm not even sat down with my back straight against it, so it's probably not the best for posture where I was sat, it's probably more like that. That's like six foot four. My feet do not even come close to the end. This is a two person tub any day of the week. And that's me sat down with my legs up. If I was trying to be a bit more like that, you got space for days in something like this. Like all the space in the world to have something like this. You're not gonna be short on space, you sit up more like that. It's a bit awkward with clothes on and stuff really. Um, with no water in it. But when you're sat in it, you're like, this is big. This is a big space. And if you were like this, you're gonna be submerged. If you've got the overflow in, it goes 535 mil up to that point there. This is then usually about 50 mil. It leaves a small 15 mil at the top. It's the highest sighted point by the funnel. If you want it somewhere else, we can put it somewhere else. So that's gonna be 535 mil. If you don't have that and you fill from taps or you fill from a different sort of system, 
Take it up to there. That's going to be pretty stacked. For every kilo of human in the tub, you take a litre of water out from the total weight number. So don't add them, you minus them, yeah? There's, there's a lot of space inside this tub. It's really, really comfortable and really nice to think you've got so much space either side. So that's a tub with no system as it comes. Big, bath, big bathroom, big tub, that's what we've got. And this is handmade in Somerset. We don't buy these in and sell them from Somerset. These are handmade. Hand laid, hand made. Like the molds are handmade, hand created uh, by Jim, who owns the company, uh, and then the team up there manufacture and put together the orders uh, for you guys and ship them worldwide. We can ship these worldwide, they're suitable for commercial use, for residential use, outdoor use. These are suitable to do that. Solid, super, super sturdy, comfortable tubs, okay? Um, I can help you with any questions you've got, reach out on WhatsApp, live chat if you want, phone over 94 751 emails info at omnitub.co.uk and we'll help you get your order together and shipped when you want it. But available worldwide, if you want these for commercial use, no worries, okay? So that's that one. I want to talk to you about the system because it just so happens that I have got landed from manufacturing an order for a customer who doesn't quite want it yet, so I've taken it because I want to show you guys. This is a fully stacked 24 jet flush system on a deluxe extra. We've got four lights, 24 jets around the side, this really nice pattern. This is gonna be a banger. Filled up, I got a video sent from manufacturer and I did post it on Insta, but it was pretty trashy because I manufacturing don't take great shots. Um, but um, seriously, this is gonna be a banger. 24 jets going around there is the perfect pattern. And I think that uh, the customer really wants this as a one person tub. I've shown you tubs before, and I've got loads of stuff up on Insta and stuff like that on IDTV, I've got symmetrical patterns. But this, this one here is really set for one. So we've got six jets on either side. That's going to be carnage, that's going to be carnage. Fully, fully stacked and fully turned on. Six jets either side, two at the end. What's that? Six, eight, ten on the back. Eighteen on the base. Four lights. Divert the switch there, touch control panel there. Could have had it on the wall, didn't want to. Didn't, didn't want to, that's fine. You can have it set on the deck. You can have that wherever you want. That could go wherever. Drawing file with me, post-purchase. We could have put this here if you wanted to, or here. Or in the wall, we've got customers, even with tubs here actually, we've got a solar option here today from manufacturer for a customer who don't want it for a bit. Um, we've got our beds on the wall. That's, that's what I, I, I prefer that, but it's up to you. You can only do that with the touch controls though guys. You can't do that with pneumatic controls. It just doesn't work like that. Um, you'll see, I'll go through the ins and outs of it. See if we can try and uh, get out to grips a bit of what we've actually got here. We've got the water pump. We've got the air pump in here. We've got the jet fill here. So this water's gonna fill from the jets. Good system to run this sort of thing on a jet fill. You would need 22 mil pipe going throughout each one. Um, got the heater on there, we've got the light controls on there, and this particular tub with all the setup we've got here uh, means that the customer is going to have a great system and it's, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get the install shots, I'll get the install shots. Um, everything is fully set and ready to go. So the only thing that needs to happen when this tub is, is delivered to the customer, which we'll be delivering ourselves, the only thing you need to do is get the electrics, which are here, leave this alone. You can take it apart, you can cut these bits off if you want to run the cables off, but you don't need to mess around with any of this stuff. That goes into a few spur, 13 amp. That powers it, that makes it ready, you are good to go. That's the electrics done. The other thing you need to do is connect, there's no overflow on this. This is gonna be bad. Realize. It's not even got an open, so it's just gonna have the waste. So we're gonna get a clip waste, put it in there, push it down, push it up to connect to clear it, and the water's gonna drain off. So that needs to be connected, and then from the jet fill, which is just there, you need a control system like a cross box from cross water, something like that, with one outlet, or if there's a shower above with one head, two outlet, or if there's two shower heads, or a rainfall a waterfall, rainfall shower, sitting in the ceiling and then something on the side, you're gonna need a free output system, like a cross box, free output system, 
with the click waist, that's all you're going to need. Control the hot, cold, on, off. And then when you select the bow function on the cross box or whatever it is you're looking to do, we just have cross water partnerships. So I always talk about cross water part pieces. Fit, push it to the bow helper and it's going to fill it. So once it's in space, let's just say, for example, looking at this, I would say that this is going against the wall. That's going to be accessible, that's accessible, and that's accessible, and a nice surround is going to be built. And in an ideal world, for something like this, I think it looks really nice when you've got like a nice flange sticking around it, like a nice piece of something, a nice piece of stone, wood type of thing, marble, tile, going all the way around the whole tub, makes it look really nice. If the controls weren't on there, it would be undermounted, okay? But I think that's kind of all going in. Uh, what I wanted to talk about, the jets completely flush, reposition the jets wherever you want them, not a problem at all, we do all that post-purchase, place the pump, place the controls, any questions you've ever got, just reach out to me any way you want, what's absolutely the easiest, as I said, but if you'd rather do phone, then just do phone, number 9 and I'll be able to help, hope you enjoyed it, and I will speak to you guys on the next one. Cheers.